All right, taking a look at this new trailer. And uh, after trailer reaction, we're going to have the more. It looks like you can do all the aerial combos that the rest of the characters has. And have some serious uh, looking projectiles. So, yeah, that's really different. It's got a DP, it looks like. That lightning plays a major part of this style of fighting. It looks like a good villain. One thing I'll say about this game, maybe I'll turn it up to something you can hear it more. But um, the music for this game is just on point. I mean, listen to it. Right? It's so epic. It, 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 it feels, it gives you the anime feeling. I can see why a lot of people are very hyped for this game. Because being quite honest, this is this is what it's about, right? <laughs> this is what it's about. You know, this is what we've been missing. Interesting characters, good music. <laughs> I love Arc System, but I get tired of constantly hearing guitars endlessly giving some different instrument and melodies. I'm thinking about what complain about the hip hop beat too much. Anyway, this action looks great. I'm wondering about the difficulty level of pulling off these combos and mechanics. But uh, all these characters look like they have a good Marvel vs. Capcom 2 style of uh, being able to link. And I understand that they have the reverse beat, which is also very original. But uh, for people who like uh, Edge Lord, Master Level, Vampires, well, we got your character here. The game's looking good, and I'm looking forward. To it. I'm looking forward to it. This character is the main antagonist of the near side moon routes of Tasa Hukimi. He is a vampire and a numberless dead apostle ancestor, ranked as extra outside of the regular 27 because they consider him to be a heretic who does not uphold the ideals of regular vampires. He is called the Serpent of Akasha, the infinite reincarnator, which refers to his ability to constantly reincarnate after entering Akasha, the root of everything within the universe, no matter how many times he dies. His 17th Incarnation is known as Elsia, and his 18th incarnation is Shiki Tono, and that's in the latest time period of Tuski Hime. So, Ro was originally a priest of the church who quickly rose to the top by utilizing all his father's inheritance. He created the burial class. The base of today's burial agency, along with Narabak. With nothing left of his resources, he decided to leave the church and gave the agency to Narbarbak. After betraying the church to the Mage Association, he was left uncredited, and Risebuff Stridberg was surprised to hear. After betraying the church to the Mage's Association, he was left uncredited. Strideberg was surprised to hear about his involvement with it. He wished to realize an immortality different from that of the dead apostles, but trying to overcome his limits as a mere human, he reluctantly became a vampire in order to continue his research. When considering a way to become a dead apostle, his heart was snatched the instant he put his eyes on Arukaid Broomstud. And without noticing it himself, his plan went out of control thereafter. He never noticed that he genuinely fell in love with her, but instead started hating her after it caused him to lose his innocence and turn away from his research. When she became weak to her vampiric impulse for the first time in the castle, he tricked her into drinking his blood by creeping up behind her. 
trying to seduce her with sweet words and asked, are you in pain? She sucked his blood right there and he died immediately. After being brought back to life, he became distant from her, not once speaking after that point and only met later to finish everything. He became a powerful dead apostle upon his arrival, taking the forces of the dead apostle ancestors that had then been sealed by the church. He quickly rose in power amongst the 27. He earned himself the scorn of the other dead apostle ancestors as he built up power and eventually Altrog Brunstad was left in charge of punishing the upstart newcomer. He proved more powerful in battle, reflecting the magnitude of the power gained from Arculide at her peak and his exceptional quality as a magi and defeated her without killing her. The rest of the ancestors decided to reject him and ignore his existence after that point and years later he was eventually destroyed by Aryukide, who had joint forces with the church. Over the next 700 years, he reincarnated 15 times, and he was endlessly killed by Aryukide each time. Roa's seventh incarnation, Elisha, or Elisha, later known as Seal, was born in 1976 to a baker's family in a remote village in France. 100 years after his 16th incarnation died. The 16th was destroyed by Aryukide before he had a chance to find a family bloodline with both wealth and power. He could only fulfill the requirement that his next incarnation would have physical potential. So he was born into a normal family without any social standing. In exchange, her body instead had extremely high magical potential which is the closest in power to his original body in all its incarnations. He began manifesting on her 16th birthday and greatly enjoyed the amount of power the body gave him, even though he would have to take a long period of time to take over the town without status. He was fine with waiting until later to obtain social standing. He committed various atrocities to the citizens as he used his new powers to slowly take over the town after the town was completely under his control, he was inevitably hunted down by Aryukide, who managed to find him after two days of searching. He was killed, and Alicia's body was taken by the church. She eventually revived with her original personality without any of Roa's influence, while Roa moved on to his next incarnation. And there's definitely more to his story, but we're going to stop there. Deep Minds, I hope you enjoyed it. That's his lore. Looked at his trailer. And um, looking forward to learning more about this character. Most of the info I got, all of the info I got from him comes from typemoonfandom.com slash wiki slash Michael Roa Valdemar. I'll leave the link in the description. This is Deep Minds 255 out. Oh,